everybody, it's Hermop here once again, and today I have another motherfucking episode of Gaming is with Pope, episode 48. Hell yeah. Getting pretty close to 50, by the way. Fuck yeah. Uh, so today the gameplay is Beyond Two Souls. That game is awesome. Last week I was showing that game in an unboxing video, um, and I said I wasn't going to have enough time to play it, but somehow I did. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but uh, that game is awesome. It's from the same developer as Heavy Rain, and it's kind of the same premise with a whole different storyline. Uh, the game is awesome. It's probably one of the best games I've ever played in my whole life. It's like cra it's crazy. I'm already playing it a second time because it's so fucking good. Um, so that's the gameplay. I'll probably do more gameplay of that in the future. That game, it, it's just fucking awesome. So if you guys haven't played it and you have a PS3, get that game. It's awesome. Great job, Quantic Dream. You guys are fucking awesome. So, uh, by the way, today the articles... Yeah, it's not just about Beyond Two Souls. Also, we're going to talk about articles. Um... Pretty good stuff going on, uh, you know. I guess we'll talk about the PS4 Red Line of Death, or is that true? Um, we'll talk about Grand Theft Auto Online and all the fucking glitches. And The Last of Us has some DLC. Hell yeah. So, maybe our first Game is above article. This one's actually not an article, it's actually just a tweet. So, uh, I don't know if you guys follow this too much, but uh, one of the head up guys at Sony, uh, Shu Yoshida, I probably pronounced that wrong. Um, but he's in the you know description if you guys want to check him out. But uh, a lot of people ask him questions on his Twitter, and he actually responds, even though uh, his responses are usually pretty fucking short and uh, kind of leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. But uh, one of the questions recently that he answered is, this guy said, is the red line of death on the PS4 true? So uh, hopefully you guys have seen the PS4. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but one of the consoles turned on, it has like a strip of light going through the middle. Um, I think it's usually blue whenever the console's on, but of course, with the whole Red Ring of Death the Xbox had, people are going like, hey, uh, if the console fails or something, what color is that going to be? Is it going to be red? We're going to have the red line of death? So uh, apparently, uh, Shu Yoshida, which I probably pronounced it wrong again, he said that the red line of death on the PS4 is not true. So uh, that's cool, I guess. Um, I'm sure the console can still break um, because... If it overheats, obviously it's gonna fucking hurt it. Uh, but uh, that's cool, I guess. No red ring, of no red line of death. Although on the PS3, wasn't it the red or wasn't it the uh, the yellow light of death? So as far as we know, there's a yellow line of death. So I don't know, but uh, that's cool. Um, I, I don't know. I, honestly, it's just cool that Sony is actually answering questions on Twitter. So pretty fun stuff. So, moving to our second game in this book article, this one's talking about Grand Theft Auto Online, and uh, if you guys have been playing any of the Grand Theft Auto Online, you'll probably notice there was a few glitches. And one of the biggest glitches was the loss of your online characters, which sucks. Because you don't want to do a bunch of shit and then fucking lose all that. And that's why Nemo TV, hopefully you're checking out this video, that's why he stopped playing Grand Theft Auto, and Nemo, now you can start playing it because Rockstar fixed that glitch. And apparently, uh, if you didn't overwrite your character, you'll still have it. But uh, if you did overwrite your character, apparently, you lost that shit, and you'll have to start over. But the good news is, uh, you know, uh, your character that you make now won't be lost, hopefully at least. Um, so pretty cool. Although Rockstar said, for any people that lost their characters or rank, uh, you're fucked. So uh, I guess you better start cranking out some uh, bank robberies and getting some money. Although Rockstar said they will give $500,000 of cash to each player. And it's going to start with an initial deposit of 250000 I don't really know. I I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't really understand that. Um, in real life, that would make sense. But it's a fucking video game, so the money is fake. So I don't know why they have to give you the money in, in, in like, payments. Like, what the fuck? It's a video game. I don't get that. But anyways, it's cool. I haven't played the online yet. But uh, for those of you who did and you got pissed off about it, hopefully some of the issues are fixed. And uh, you won't lose all your progress. So, pretty cool stuff. So, moving to our third Game is Bope article. This one's good news again. Hell yeah, all this good news is fucking awesome. So, this one's talking about The Last of Us. I almost forgot about that game, to be completely honest. I mean, Beyond came out, which was, oh my god, once again, beautiful. Um, Grand Theft Auto, which is, oh my fucking god, crazy good. And there's more games coming out. But we can't forget about The Last of Us that came out earlier this year. And that game was fucking awesome too. Naughty Dog kicked ass with that game. So apparently that game is getting some DLC, and it's coming out today, October 15th. Pretty cool. So uh, it's coming out. It's going to be uh, $9.99, or you can get the season pass for $20. Um, I don't think they really talk about how many DLC packs are going to come out, maybe two or three or something. 
Uh, but this, but the season pass is twenty bucks, so I guess at least two. Um, so that's cool. Um, but it's gonna have four multiplayer maps. Uh, the first map is gonna be near the beginning of the game. Two are gonna be in the middle of the game, and one is gonna be near the end of the game. So pretty cool stuff. Um, also, they say it does have some single player content, but they don't really go into it as much. So honestly, I would rather have more single player content than multiplayer content because. You know, The Last of Us actually is pretty decent online. Uh, a lot of people haven't really played it, but it's pretty decent online. But still, the single-player campaign is just so much better than, this, than the multiplayer. It's fucking beautiful. So, Naughty Dog, come out with some more single-player DLC. And, uh, you know, come out with that multiplayer DLC as well. But, you know, focus is. So, uh, anyways, you know, pretty cool. Um, good stuff to hear. And hopefully we all uh, have some more time to play Last of Us. Because that game is still fucking awesome. So, good job, Naughty Dog. Come out with some stuff on PS4 now, and uh, let's get this shit rolling. So, with all that said, that pretty well finishes up this episode of Gaming is a Pope. Hell yeah. So, the gameplay, Beyond Two Souls. Uh, play that game if you guys haven't. It's just fucking awesome. I really wish I could do a review on it, but uh, college, I would probably fail all my classes if I, you know, spent that much time playing or trying to review video games and shit. It's just not possible. But, uh, you know, pretty cool. Love that game. You guys should play it because it's fucking awesome. So anyways, uh, hopefully you guys like the articles. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you know, good news. Gotta love that shit. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys want to drop a like on this video, you know, I really appreciate that. But otherwise, I'll see you crazy motherfuckers around the bend. Oh, by the way, there's a really cool unboxing video coming out this week. It's going to be a new monitor, and it's fucking awesome. Actually, it might come out next week. I'm not really sure when it's going to come in. But the monitor is fucking crazy, so keep your eye out for that. Fuck yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.